Andy Hudson Eyed here. I'm going to talk about what browser profiles are, how to set them up, and the benefits of using them right after this. We all use internet browsers every day, whether we're on our PC, Mac, mobile device, and we're doing a lot of different types of things in an internet browser. Now you might not have thought about ways of separating your browsing experiences. Of course we do have tabs in most major browsers that allow us to separate different web pages. But when we get into certain applications like Google, Microsoft, these applications dominate our browser experience. So no matter what tabs you have open, you're going to be logged into those respective accounts. So let's say you have work-related projects that are in a Google or Microsoft account, and you also have your personal Microsoft and Google accounts, just as an example, you cannot be logged into both of them on, in the same browser experience, in the same browser window, no matter how many tabs you have open. Now you can use incognito, but the downside of using an incognito experience is you're going to not save passwords and other data that would make it easy to log back into those accounts. So what I want to talk about today to help minimize the frustration that we have with these multiple accounts that dominate the browser experience is to use separate profiles. So let me get into how to set profiles up and how to use them in each of the major browsers. Unfortunately, Safari is not supported. Safari is not a browser that doesn't allow us to create profiles, but thankfully on a Mac, you can also use Google Chrome or Firefox, and those do support multiple profiles. So here we are in my Chrome browser, and in Chrome, they make it very easy to set up profiles. All you have to do is come over here and I've already have a profile set up in mine under my name and my picture, obviously. But you, you click on this uh, icon, profile icon, and you come down here and look for the Add button. This will allow you to create a new profile inside of Google Chrome. I'll just say Matt New Profile, not very unique. You can choose one of these images if you would like and you might be asking why can you see my picture up here and down here there's no option to upload your own picture well i'll get into that in just a minute that relates to syncing your browser with your google account okay let me click add and what's going to happen is it's going to launch me into a brand new browser window and this browser experience is completely separate from the default profile, the profile you were just in. As you can see, you're met with this intro page here. So if I type, uh, I know that I was signed into my Gmail account in my other profile. If I type that in here, it's going to prompt me to add my Gmail account, which is showing to me that this is now uh, a new experience. And so I can start over with whatever I want to use this for, whether it's work, whether it's hobby, whether it's just a, a secure profile that I want to use in the browser. So let's, let's talk about what it would look like to set this up in a different browser. Maybe you don't use Chrome. Maybe you use Internet Explorer. I can't believe I said that. That's the old name. It's now Microsoft Edge. So come over here to my my Microsoft Edge browser. As you can see, I have set up in here my account. Now, if you, this is linked with your Microsoft accounts. Because it's Microsoft Edge and Microsoft has built this, they have it linked to your Microsoft accounts. And whereas Google Chrome is linked to your Google account. So when you come in here and you create a new profile, I do have a lot of them in here. You come down and it's going to say add profile. Now the difference with Microsoft Edge compared to Chrome is when you add the profile, you're going to go straight into the profile, into the new browser window. And you might think, well, how can I set this up so that it has my name on it? 
and I can customize it. Well, go back here and just click on this. It's going to give you a generic profile name to begin with. Click Manage Profile Settings, and you'll see your current profile at the top. You just click these three dots here, click Edit. Now you can rename it Profile New. Choose a picture if you want out of these not very not very many options and pictures here click update and you'll see that updated over here I renamed it to Matt profile new with this picture now if I wanted to sign in I could sign into my Microsoft account and if you have an image there a profile image it will it will update that here in your profile as it is here in uh, my personal Microsoft account as well as my work account. So these are, uh, this is how you set it up in Edge. And I should say I did, I, I didn't talk about the syncing aspect in Chrome. So let's go back to that. So in Chrome, here there's the option to turn on sync. So if you click that, it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. So if you do sign into Google, it will then update your profile here like mine that will that will feature your picture your name and your email address that's associated with your Google account and then any Google Chrome experience that you have whether it's on um, your PC your Mac your mobile device those will all be synced assuming that you log into each one with that Google account the same way with Microsoft Edge is it will sync everything across those browsing experiences, those browser experiences, as long as you sign in with your Microsoft account. Well, you might be asking yourself, well, I don't use Chrome or Edge, so maybe you use Firefox. Well, Firefox is a little bit different when it comes to the way that you create a profile. They, they do have this profile image here, but there's no option to add a new profile in the same way that we did with Chrome or Edge. In Firefox, we're gonna to have to type into the browser bar. You just type about and then profiles. And that'll bring up this kind of old school looking screen with uh, some profiles on it. You're gonna have a default profile that you can't um, get rid of, uh, but then you have some others. I have already set up a couple in here. But in order to create a new profile, just click this Create a New Profile button. You'll be met with the Profile Wizard. Just click Next. And then whatever you want to name it, Matt's Profile in Firefox. And you'll notice here that uh, it will show you where your settings are in Preferences and other data will be stored. You can have it stored here or you can choose another place in order to have it stored somewhere else. If you have another drive and you want to keep it on another drive, click finish and that will add the profile to the bottom of the page here and you can rename it, you can remove it, or you can launch into it. So I'm going to launch into this new profile. It will bring up this brand new Firefox browser window and I am now in the profile I just created. Unfortunately, it doesn't it doesn't provide the name of my profile here. The only way that you can really tell if you're in this profile is by going back to that profile page here that we typed in the about profiles come in here and this and up at, uh, down at the bottom here, you know that um, you're in it because there's no launch into profile in a new browser. That's where we're at in here. Now, if we want to sync across Firefox, you can do that, but you're going to need to create an account in Firefox with that's associated with your email. Then once you do that, you're uh, you can set up a profile image that will show here instead of this generic profile icon and it will sync across all of your devices in Firefox. So that 
is where it's similar to Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome is that being able to sync all of your data across those. So you might be asking, well, I don't use a PC and I'm, I, what about Safari? Well, Safari, unfortunately, is not, it does not have profiles that you can set up. So if you're on a Mac, I'd recommend using Google Chrome or Firefox on your Mac. And let me show you here how you can set up profiles in Google Chrome on your Mac, which is very similar to the PC experience. Now, what if you're asking, well, I don't use a PC for my browsing experience. I work on a Mac. What can I do on a Mac? Well, let's go over to my Mac here. And I actually have my Mac um, connected to my PC here through VNC Viewer uh, so that I can access it without opening up my Mac. Unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, Mac S Safari browser does not support multiple profiles, which is unfortunate. So we would have to use Google Chrome or Firefox. I have Chrome installed on my Mac. So on a Mac, the, the experience is, is essentially similar to on a PC. You come down here, you click on the profile icon, come down here to add, and then it will prompt you to put in the name of your profile. Choose a picture if you want. You don't have to. Click Add. And now I am inside of my new Chrome profile experience on my Mac. And again, click on here. I can choose to sync this with my Google account. So then that would import my Google profile picture instead of having this silly monkey. And then it would would sync all of my bookmarks and my other data across my devices. So that is how you would do it on a Mac. Again, you can also use Firefox on a Mac in much the same way that we did on the PC. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Be sure to give this video a like if it was beneficial for you so that YouTube will promote it. Be sure to subscribe to The Handy Hudsonite for more tips, hacks, and reviews like this one, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video.